what is up everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you guys are new if you are new hit subscribe down below right now if you are a returning viewer and you're not subscribed you know the drill what are you doing I have a very exciting video today because today's video is a request from one of you so I'm about to find your name so I can give you a little shout out miss lady Courtney 636 Zero seven. So shout out. Thank you for commenting and requesting this video. They commented on my Marc Jacobs the tote bag unboxing video. If you know, you know. And if you haven't seen that video, click. It's either here or it's here. Okay, click one of those and go watch that video because you guys loved watching that. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. And um, Miss Lady Courtney requested that I do a what's in my bag because they actually ordered the bag and um, they would like to see how I carry everything. That is what they said. So I'm very, very excited. That's my first video request ever. So thanks, Miss Lady Courtney. And we're just going to jump right in and get started. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but I'm just going to show you what's in my bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. gonna clean out my purse before doing this video and make sure that there's not a bunch of random crap in there and make it look all nice and organized but then I thought why the heck would I do that because half the point of showing you guys what I carry around on the daily is it's actually what I carry around on the daily so we're just gonna get right into the bag if you haven't seen my video yet I will tell you that this is the Marc Jacobs tote bag in size medium and it's the jacquard style in the color sand i believe that's all the details about it i bought this purse not too long ago and it's something that's been on my wish list for years something i never thought i would actually buy and i have to say i've been loving it i would highly recommend this to anyone who's been really thinking about it um but yeah enough about the bag we're just gonna jump in and then i also brought a couple extra items that i don't carry around on the daily but that i would carry around if i were going to work remotely like at a coffee shop or something just so you can see the potential of what can fit in this bag so let's start with first just what's in here okay it's a mess i'm just gonna say that so first of all a classic item my wallet i just have a little coach wallet I got this for Christmas like a couple years ago. It's honestly lasted really well. It's just a little coach wallet in a tan color. Simple. Next, we have some Ohio winter items, okay? These are things that stay in my purse all winter, and then when it gets to be spring, like we're approaching right now, I take them out. But first is a pair of gloves. You know you live in the Midwest if you have a pair of gloves in your purse, multiple pairs in your car, and everywhere else that you go in your house because you never want to be trapped without gloves in a situation. So, gloves. I have, of course, the O'Keeffe's Working Hands Cream. This, I actually featured on my podcast as one of my January top favorites because this saved my hands. Like, when I tell you, they were disgusting. They were cracking and bleeding. Yeah, bad. But the O'Keeffe's Working Hands Cream, it's been amazing. Okay, next we have a couple fun items that I keep in my purse, and this is so random, you guys. This is the stuff I probably would have taken out. So I'm glad we're here together. Um, two games of Uno. Sometimes you just need to play Uno, okay? Sometimes you might be at like a family or friends get together, everyone's kind of awkward. It's like, let's play Uno. You might be at a freaking restaurant waiting for your table, or you might be at a restaurant at your table waiting for your food. Been there, done that. You play Uno. So we have Uno Flip, which is my favorite Uno game ever. I personally think it's the best. And then we have Uno Go, which is just regular Uno, but small. I haven't played it yet, to be honest with you. But they're here. I, I use the Uno Flip all the time. We played at the hotel pool the other day um, with my family when they were visiting. Just anywhere. Okay. Next thing. I can't even believe I have two of these. Um, apparently, I have two of these. This is another, if you know, you know, two bottles of black tape. That's because one is almost empty and one is full because I bought a new one. So, two bottles of, two bottles of lactate because I'm lactose intolerant. Okay, this is a purse staple that I always have. I'll open it so you guys can see it. This is a shopping bag. If you've never seen these, you need to get your hands on some. I have a ton of these in my car, but you just pull off the little strap and it opens to be this really big shopping bag that you can use in place of the plastic or paper bags at the store. I love this. I seriously use it all the time. I know some people are like, oh, I always forget to use my bags. And that was me for like a good year. 
until I just really got in the habit of it. And now I've, I never use regular bags at the store. I'm always using my own. Not only is it better for the environment, but it's, it's just nice. You know, you know if they're clean because you wash them, they're yours. You know, they're stronger because they're usually made of like canvas or plastic, etc. So they can hold a lot more groceries without ripping. So that is one of my bags. I have a ton of these, but I always keep one in my purse at a time. And it doesn't always have to be used at the store. Like if you do a quick trip to the store and you need a bag, it's in your purse. But also if you go somewhere and you're hiking and you step in this huge puddle and your socks are like disgusting and wet, you could put those in the bag and have them separate from your regular stuff to take them home to wash them. Just random situations, this comes in handy. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom of my regular section. So last three items are like kind of miscellaneous. I have, this is so random you guys. I have some lottery tickets that I won that I need to cash out. I have this Columbus Coffee Experience Guide book. So in Columbus, Ohio, where I live, you can get stamps at all these coffee shops that are on the inside of this, and then you win prizes. So you can get like a t-shirt or a mug or whatever. Then I have a clip, classic, Amazon. And then I have my sunglasses, always in my bag. Love these. Also, I get my sunglasses all from Amazon. So that's everything that was in the main pocket of my bag. However, they're small pockets, so we're gonna get into that. Oh, this is exciting. This is a really good one. Something I keep in the pocket of my bag. We Run On Coffee podcast stickers. These are so exciting. I recently bought these and then I gave half to my podcast co-host, half to myself so that we can hand them out to our friends and family and just stick them all around. And they're so cute. I haven't really used them yet because I just gave them to her. So I didn't want to use them before I gave them to her in case someone posted on Instagram or something. She'd be like, what are these? So there's that. This is such a random emergency item, but if you're a coffee holic like me, <laughs> then you would know um, an instant coffee packet. It's the Starbucks Pike Place. I don't know. I probably don't like this, but if it's a pinch and I need a coffee, I need coffee. So that's in there. I have my garage door opener in there, and then I also have this little USB that I use for editing my videos. Just a cute little editing USB. And then there's a zipper pocket and I know there's not much in here. So last two items in my whole purse that I carry on a regular basis are a pen and a chapstick. If you ask me, these are necessary to always have in your bag. The chapstick I have is this Vaseline uh, chapstick. It's the best one. It's Vaseline, but it's like an actual chapstick form. It's so good. I'm gonna throw everything back in my bag and then I'm gonna add a few items just to show you guys because I feel like what I put in here is great. I usually have my vlog camera. You guys are on my vlog camera. That's usually inside my bag as well. But I feel like I don't fill it up to its full potential. I mean, I don't want it to be full because then it would be really heavy, but it can definitely be used as a working tote as well. By the way, the handle strap is always in there. Um, but yeah, I feel like I don't fill it up to its full potential and you definitely can. So I'm going to throw a few extra items in here just to show you all how much you can really fit in the medium sized tote. All my stuff is back in there. That's how full it is. I mean, it's barely full. Then I brought down my MacBook. So this is my work laptop. Usually I have like an HP laptop and it's really big, 15.6 inches. I don't think it would fit. This is a regular MacBook and I don't know how big this is. I'm really sorry. It doesn't even say what kind of MacBook it is, and I know nothing about Apple, so I don't know. But MacBook, it can fit in there the proper way, and it goes fully down. Then I have my meal planning little booklet. This is for weekly meal plans, so I'll throw that in there. And then also, I'm a little crazy, and I have a big, 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 big planner. I use a paper planner and a phone calendar simultaneously, and my paper planner is huge. It's bigger than the laptop, so that can also fit in here and go all the way down. And now this is what we're looking like. There's still plenty of room here. Like if you needed to throw, I don't know, anything in here you could. It is the perfect size as a work tote. You can just throw the strap over, go to a coffee shop and work away. I haven't done this yet, but I'm definitely going to be using it for that. I also have a trip coming up that I'm going to be using the bag as a carry-on on the plane. And now that I've put all this stuff in it, I feel like it really has potential to fit even more. So I'm feeling good about that. It also has these flaps, if you will. 
So it has these two flaps at the top. And with the MacBook and the big planner and everything that I just threw in there, it can completely zip, which is really nice and secure. You can tuck the end of the zipper in and she's good to go. Look at that. It's amazing. So even though I don't carry these items on a daily basis in my bag, I totally could. And I think it's practical and it makes a lot of sense. And that's half the reason that I got this size because I wanted to be able to use it as a daily purse that's not too oversized, but also a work bag. So with that, that's going to be the end of the video. That's what I keep in my tote bag. Thank you, Miss Lady Courtney, for asking for this video. I hope you're watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely comment down below if you all have video requests anytime because I was so excited to see that request come in. I filmed this video immediately, so I love, love, love to make the videos you guys want to see. I know y'all love hauls because every time I post a haul, it goes crazy. And I'm going to be posting a few hauls in the coming weeks, so I will give you a little sneak peek really quick of my content calendar moving forward. Uh, coming up, we have a huge Amazon haul. And I mean huge, like tons of Amazon items that I'm going to feature. We have unboxing the FabFitFun spring box. I'm very excited to get that. And then we're also going to have a huge spring clothing try on haul. I have so many new clothes to show you guys that I've purchased for the spring. And then aside from that, we have like so many travel videos. I can't even tell you, like more than five. We have so many travel videos coming in the next couple months. So definitely stay tuned subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next week on sunday thank you for watching i love you guys bye <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs>